So we're on the start for the last race of the day, and I know many of you will have been waiting to watch the men from Leander Club go up against the guys from the northeast from Hcroft. So Hcroft are on the box station, the right-hand side. Leander Club are on the Berkshire station, the left-hand side. Leander have won the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup, of which this is a heat for intermediate men's uh, quadruple skulls. For so many years, it's just incredible, the record that Leander Club have. And that um, rests on the shoulders of this crew from Leander. But they're not in the lead at the moment. What a start from Agecroft. Great start here from Agecroft. And I think knowing that they're coming up against Leander Club, tactically, they're racing it the right way, putting themselves out there into this race early. Because this was always the risk that Leander Club would be very strong through the middle section of the course. So I think it's a really brave way to race. They've done what they need to do. Can they hang in there and keep overlap with this quad from Leander? Leander were the winners at Marlow Regatta in the Open Championship quads. They're the current holders of this trophy. Winners on 10 occasions, including the last three. So certainly the dominant force in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. Yeah, pretty amazing record that is. But uh, I love the wave. So there's Miles Devereaux, spare to the British team in 2023 in Belgrade. Right in the under-23s that year, sat in the stroke seat, the 23-year-old Levin Graf behind him. And Oliver Cosley, former Clare's Court, who's won the Fawley, which is the boys' quads, and he's won this event in 2021, 22 and 23 which is a hell of a record if you want to have your two-man in the boat. So that's the pedigree of this Leander crew and Agecroft doing so well. They're very aggressive, Agecroft, aren't they? They've got a higher rate of striking, they look neat and tidy. And uh, I guess maybe Graham Thomas, if you're watching this, training with the British team, I know you're back from altitude and go off to Portugal at the end of the week to your Aviz camp, but Graham Thomas, the man from Agecroft stroking the British quad. Silver medalist in the World Championship, bronze medalist in the single skull. Agecroft is associated with Graham, and uh, your boys are doing you proud. So, there is the stroke man from Agecroft, Hugh Gale. Stroked put on his Instagram that uh, he had a really tough race at Marlow Regatta. The time trial wasn't so good, but uh, they were pleased to improve to get fourth place in the A final. Look at him work there, Sarah. Yeah, big experience from the stroke and bow seat in the Agecroft crew. As you said, Hugh Galley, 34 years of age, six previous Henley Royal Regattas, Andrew Jepson in the bow seat, also with six previous Henley Royal Regattas. Third overall at the Met Regatta on Saturday and first overall at the Met Regatta on Sunday. But as we've already said, pretty tough draw to get Leander Club. Yeah, they do look nice, don't they, off the back end, Leander. Miles Devereaux there just looking straight down the boat. Nothing's going to disturb him. That's a kind of bulletproof rhythm. And uh, the boat, that Empacker shell carbon wing riggers just flowing beautifully through the water. Exhibition rowing, Agecroft keeping them honest. Leander haven't been able to drop their pace yet as we come up to the enclosures and there's still crowds there watching the racing. I know there are thousands of you watching this YouTube channel, the Henley presentation of racing today, of which this is the last event. Synchronicity in unison. A lot of our commentary team have talked about loving to watch quad skulls, Sarah. They're just the most impressive boats when they're going well, because when they're not going well, you see every fault in a quad. And watching this Leander crew is a real joy because they do it so well. They're perfectly synchronized. You look at those bodies moving as one, those pink stripes moving on the side of the rowing suits together, levering forward and backwards. The, the oars in complete unison as well. I mean, it almost looks like a replication 
of the same person through the boat. There's really very little difference between what those four rowers are doing. Extremely well drilled. You can see why Leander is such a dominant force uh, in obviously rowing more broadly, but especially in this event. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know rowing that well, Leander Club have their base maybe just about 200 metres from the end of the course. It's the big club here. It's the one that all the British rowers want to row at to help their development. And uh, you can see why with races like this, because H. Croft kept them on this, but in the final race of the day, it is Leander Club that take that heat of the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup from the four guys from Agecroft. Great race from Agecroft, but confirmation that the Ander Club beat Agecroft in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup.